Jeff Irwin with Brandt Holdings Company. We're based out of Fargo, North Dakota. And we have the division I work with is the, the John Deere retail division. So we work with um, farm equipment dealerships. The last two years, I took the role of uh, learning and development, was asked uh, to take that. We hadn't really had an organized department. Okay, I knew I wanted to change something in terms of the way training was happening now. It was, it just plain was check the box. Some of that was driven from our manufacturer. Our manufacturer provides decent content but it's okay, you have to take so many credits and all that. And so we just go through the motions and I'm not saying that there isn't learning taking place, but we're not really driving a business result. We're not really saying, okay, what are we trying to accomplish? And uh, that's what I liked about this model when I saw it. I did get the book and you know, I looked through the book, I, I actually downloaded, you know, the tools thing in the back. And it for some reason, I don't know what it was, just wasn't clicking with me. And just going through the workshop really, now when I go back through the book, a lot of things make sense. So I really, my suggestion is it's, it's fine to read the book, if you want to just get a preview. But I think until you really go through the workshop, it really brings that take takes it to the next level where you you can really take action on it and feel confident coming out of that with it. It may be not a finished product, but it's something that you've got a darn good start on. What we're really trying to build here is a strategy and then put all the pieces together, but it, it's a way to pull all the pieces together and keep it organized. And then I guess simplify it too, because boy, you can really see some really complicated models out there. And it there's so many moving parts to it. And we need something that people can get their arms around. I need to get my arms around it when I'm building it. And, you know, to be able to know what questions to ask, having those prompters to build a strategy. I think the LCD model is the one to really get you started on what do you really need? What are you trying to change? We're trying to change a business result. We're trying to speed up, speed the solution or competency, if you will, uh, because that gets left to chance if you don't have something in place to fill that vacuum, that training transfer, if we're still going to do training or if it's going to be something, you know, easier than that even. But we have to have it identified. What are we going to, what are we going to drip on everyone and give them access to? So it's, it's really important to have a strategy. I would really highly recommend choosing something, not just not a practice thing. Do something you you plan on implementing because you'll get a head start on it. The project that I chose was uh, something that had a large value of something that we've dealt with for a long time, and it's it's in the millions of dollars impact it could have. And by doing, I really believe by having this process in place it will move it, it, it will move us I don't know if we can save half of what we what we're what I call writing off or the opportunity to, to put a positive spin on it but I know it'll make an improvement and it'll make an improvement not only on financials but I think employee retention because we've got a solution for them we help get them get them onboarded quicker I, I looked at this one and I said, well, this is a no brainer. I went to our controller and I just got some numbers from him. And I said, this, this is worthy of taking to the C-suite and sitting down and saying, here's, here's an opportunity for us and here's how we can do it. Everything I looked at, it was all about content and so forth, uh, more so than a strategic plan and I needed a strategic plan. So I would say every, if, if they're not using something similar, if they've come up with something on their own, it will have huge impact. And 
I, I mean, I really b- believe that we're going to, it's my goal anyway, is to use this for any, any initiative that we're going to do that's, that's worthy of doing. We should go through this process. And I think for, for nothing else, L&D department should just go through this workshop, go through the process just to see how they're doing and kind of gauge, are, are we getting the results we want? Because what it really does, and I've heard this from a number of people, it makes you stop and go, you know, I was just pumping training out there, but I really was, we didn't have, that's where it kind of ended. There, there wasn't a, you know, try to get a business result strategy at the end. What are we trying to accomplish here? It was, here's our need from whoever. And we, we were just, you know, basically like a short order cook, keep, you know, keep pumping out the content and um, or assigning the learning. Well, take the workshop. I mean, that is, again, I just, I'm reiterating uh, the book is great and you need the book. You need to get the book. But I think that taking that, t- taking the time to go through, you know, the workshop and really engage in the workshop and challenge yourself, challenge, you know, if you've got somebody else that you're working with, but really work through the process and, and pick a large project that's really going to make a difference and just see what, see what you can build. Cause it, it'll be amazing and go through the workshop for sure though.